Crash and burn. Hey everyone, so tonight I want to discuss Larry Cohen's 1976 film, and that is God Told Me To. Now, this movie shouldn't have worked, but because the story is just so out there, it really works. Even though technically I didn't love the third act, um, I still, I could appreciate it for what it brought to the table, but it just felt like too many things were dropped in our lap too abruptly, I suppose. But the movie is about a police detective, I believe named Peter Nicholas, if memory serves. And he um, comes across somebody killing people with a rifle on top of a water tower in downtown New York. And when he finally confronts the guy and he's trying to get to know him and he's attempting to do some sort of like hostage negotiation, so to speak, um, he asks him why he did this, and the guy said, God told me to. And then he proceeds to toss himself off the water tower, and he kills himself. And this has a massive effect on Nicholas, and he can't seem to let it go. Now, it is revealed fairly early on that, that Nicholas is a devout Catholic who has both a wife and girlfriend. So, I don't know about the devout Catholic thing. The devout should be dropped, and he could just be Catholic. Because of Catholics, you know, they cheat like everybody, but probably not devout Catholics. Like anybody devout to whatever faith they're a part of, they, I doubt they cheat on their significant others, let alone their spouses. But anyways, yeah, he has a girlfriend, a younger blonde who he's been with for a number of years, and he's spending more time with her than he is his wife. Devout Catholicism at play here, people. Anyways, um... And so you can see that this is really having an effect on him. And then he receives a phone call saying that there's going to be another mass shooting during the St. Patrick's Day parade. And this time it could be a police officer. And sure enough, it happens. And the officer, if I'm not mistaken, too, is played by Andy Kaufman. Um, he starts shooting other police officers and people until another officer shoots him in the head and stops it. But right before he shoots him, he says, hey, I did this because God told me to. And Nicholas is really pulled into it at this point. He's completely, like, he's detectiving his way through this. And just like a lot of Cohen's films, this has a heavy lean towards the police procedural aspects, which I absolutely love. And it's like you, the story keeps unfolding and things keep unraveling and everything keeps getting more and more mysterious and everything keeps getting more and more interesting. And then he goes to see the, the old lady who was abducted by an alien spaceship way back, I think, in the 40s, I think, the 50s, and she's, her clothes disappear, and she's impregnated aboard this ship through some type of beam of light or something or other. And then she gives birth to this immaculately conceived child, and the child is given up for adoption. And so when Nicholas goes to see her and ask her about what happens, she's, of course, hesitant because no one's ever believed her. And then, all of a sudden, we're just introduced to the final third of the movie where she figures out that Nicholas was her son. He was the immaculate conception or the, the extraterrestrial conception. I don't know. And that's when the movie started to lose me somewhat. I found everything up until that point to be really intriguing and captivating and fun and sort of enthralling where I'm like, oh fuck, I don't know where this movie's going to take us next. And something about Nicholas being, you know, the Jesus baby just didn't sit right with me. Something about it, it just felt, like I said earlier, too abrupt. So he goes on and he discovers that there was another immaculate birth and this was the Jesus or the typical looking Jesus-like figure that the other people who have killed people, massive amounts of people, have been claiming told them to do it. And so Nicholas tracks him down and he confronts him and he realizes that they are brothers. And so his brother, Jesus, says, you know, we could start anew. And he lifts up his shirt and he's a hermaphrodite. So he has the ability to impregnate himself. And he says that we can sort of create this whole race of us, these super godlike beings. And then Nicholas slaps him. And it's at that point that Nicholas realizes that his brother, Jesus, has never felt pain. So he continues to slap him. And then he pulls out his gun to shoot him. And the building that they're in, or the house they're in, starts to collapse around them. And it cuts to Nicholas being led up the steps to, of a courthouse, I would imagine, in handcuffs. And reporters are there, and they ask him, like, did you intend to kill this man when he went there? And he said yes. 
And then another reporter asks him, why did you do this? And he says, God told me to. And then I have to say, despite not liking the last third of the movie, I do absolutely love the last shot of the film because after Nicholas says, God told me to, he breaks the fourth wall and looks right at the audience. And I thought that that had a considerable amount of impact and it spoke volumes in a lot of ways. And it gave this movie an extra bit of depth and weight, which really kind of helped save the movie for me because I really did not like that last half an hour at all. I didn't like how they were like alien Jesus babies and I just, I just felt it just took, it was too hard of a turn. But I did really like him breaking the fourth wall. And after he's broken the fourth wall, there's text, text comes up and says that he was committed to an asylum and that's how the movie ends. Now, I thought a lot of things about this movie were great. Everybody in it can act. They've been in dozens of other films. Um, I thought the story was really good, and even though I didn't like the last third, I still thought it was really clever. I just felt it was just too jarring. It was too, like I said, abrupt. And I liked the setup. I, I liked the feel of the movie. I liked the, pre, the police procedural aspects to it. I liked how it sort of felt like a murder mystery at times. I just didn't love the alien Jesus baby part. And also, too, I noticed that the the... the organ inside of his brother that has sort of the hermaphroditic aspects, assuming hermaphroditic is a word, I don't think it is, but it doesn't matter. The hermaphroditic organ in his, on his stomach, chest, or whatever, it kind of reminded me of early Cronenberg. And considering this movie came out in 76, you could sort of say it was early Cohen or, or it was early Cronenberg, because Cronenberg did end up doing a lot of body horror, as everybody knows. And that organ, the sex organ or whatever it was, it looked very Cronenbergian. Or <laughs> Cronenbergian. There it is. Cronenbergian. I managed to say that without laughing. I giggled, but whatever. I am going to go, so thank you so much for hanging out with me for seven and a half minutes while I discuss Larry Cohen's 1976 film. God told me to. If you liked this review or discussion or whatever this was, like usual, don't forget to do something nice for somebody. You guys are amazing. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.